So where are we, Tim? Uh, we're at a little church in Capel Llanilton, Llan Il Terin, Teo, which is the uh, church estate of the regent in waiting. And this set into the uh, north wall of the church is uh, a stone. This church was rebuilt in the 1800s. And <coughs> This stone was, um, I suspect, inside the old church and was put into the wall um, in the rebuilding. And Lender Magnus was, I believe, the father of the second um, Guinevere. And um, somewhere in this church, in the fabric of the church, there may well be her stone or it might well be um, somewhere nearby, up the road to the south, about um, quarter, half a mile, there's the site of another old chapel, which was in ruins, and it may be there, so. Which Guinevere is that? We think it's the second one. Second wife of Arthur the second? Yes. Yeah. I'll just pronounce it in Welsh. Gwynhovre. Gwynhovre. Guinevar. Yeah, Guinevar. So there we go. How interesting is that? Where are we, Tim? Uh, this is St. Cordrafts, and we're across the road from the Castle Merch pub. We're just sort of on the, the edge of Miskin, um, the Miskin Hotel, Miskin Manor. Um, and here we are in the woods. We've got this little, um, well, a ruined area, um, which was supposed to be St. Cordrafts, um, either monastery or part of the monastery, but it looks a bit more like a, um, a, a modest courthouse with a some sort of walled courtyard area around it. Um, it looks like a, a, a residence in front of you there to the west. And um, we've got some other green walls outlining more buildings over here. How is it connected with the Arthurian history? Well, where we've just been to the, um, the little church in Capleton Hilton, which has got the stone embedded in the wall, um, that's the stone that we saw, which is uh, purported to be um, the father of the second Guinevere. And 
this um, place, Cordraf had a, a son called Medroud, Mordred, and it was um, Mordred eloped with Guinevere to Scotland and was chased by Arthur with his hunting dogs and his men all the way up to Perth and there is um, information up in Mygal in Scotland that shows that uh, that was the place where the, the hunting dogs ripped them to bits. Nice. In a gory fashion. A bit like uh, King Jong Un. Yeah. Yeah. So what what was the purpose of this place then? Uh, I what? assume this was the, 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 the residence of, of um, uh, Cordraf, um, Medrad's father. The manor house. Mm. And then halfway between here and Capel for Nilton, um, slightly to the north, uh, Alan, Alan and Barham have identified, they'd identified the woods um, called Floyn Milwas. Um, where the lovers used to meet, and uh, there is a property still there today of that name. Wow. And that's very close to Roos So there you are. And what's over there, just to the other uh, side of these woods? This is the quarry, uh, which is still in use today, uh, an active quarry, and this is where um, Alan and Tony went some years ago and identified that there was a tunnel um, in the quarry that uh, had been sort of excavated away, but it was leading in this direction. And I think you probably know more about that than I do. A tunnel connecting the two places. Let's go through the arch. Is it safe? Safe enough, I expect. Where are we now then, Tim? 
Um, Merthyr Mawr stone collection at the back of the St. Chudrig's Church at Merthyr Mawr and uh, it's a bit of a drizzly day but here we are and the most significant stone here is this one here, number one, which is a um, half an inscribed stone which says uh, it's either Paul or Paulinus or Paulus and Philly M. So Paul or Paulinus, uh, son of somebody beginning with M. And interestingly, the uh, stone collection archaeologist dates this as 5th century. Um, so we've got to look for somebody around about that time in the area who was called Paul or Paulinus and is the son of somebody beginning with M. And what we have here in the descents of Constantine the Great going down to um, through both King Arthur's is we actually find that we've got Arthur the Second who is the son of Tudrig and the in turn the, 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 the grandson of, sorry, the grandson of Tudrig and the son of Myrig. And Arthur II had some brothers and a sister. He had Madoc, Morfran, he had um, uh, Freoc was a brother, Idneth was a brother, Paul was a brother, and Anna was a sister. So we do have um, a brother of Arthur's who is a uh, called Paul, who is a son of Myrig, which would fit with the M, and the date for this is 6th century, not 5th, but we actually find a Paul, son of Myrig, who's an important fella, and would be important enough to have a, uh, a big stone in memorial to him. So there we go. Interesting. And that stone... It's buried in a bit of concrete. Are any letters underneath where it's cut off, I wonder? Yeah. You ain't going to know unless you get a hammer and chisel out. I don't think you'll be very popular if you do that. Well, it's great that they've kept it, mind, isn't it? But does it say anywhere where they found it? Uh, no. It just says... No, it doesn't actually say, but I, I believe that this was in the... <laughs>